Knightsbridge, Mayfair and Belgravia are home to at least 77 registered billionaires, with many of those residing on the streets around me here in Knightsbridge. It's not hard to see why when Harrods is just five minutes away. Now the townhouse we're gonna to see today is this one behind me and it's priced at 12 million pounds. The location that we're on today, if you step forward and have a look around, is Hans Place, an iconic garden square here in Knightsbridge. Fascinating history, dates back to the 18th century, where architect Henry Holland leased 89 acres here from Earl Cadogan, and he sublet the remaining building plots in order to fund the build of his own home. Now, as I said, this is the entire townhouse we're seeing today, over seven stories in total, starting from the lower ground floor all the way to the top of the property. We have the entrance here, there's an additional staff entrance for the lower ground floor or a guest entrance perhaps to the area down there, which we will show you. Security system here, but let's head inside. The entrance here on the ground floor makes a statement as soon as you come in. It's recently been refurbished by M Design and the team have done an amazing job. We have the stone flooring with the dark marble insets in the floor here. Now I said seven stories, so you are definitely going to need the lift, which we do have here, although there is stairs to every floor as well. Perhaps we'll do a variety on today's tour. So this is, I guess, your welcome reception area. We have the feature wall with the black marble again and the wood piece here with the fireplace here in the center. Very cozy place to invite your guests in. Beautiful window design here and some lovely cornicing throughout. So elevator or lift here, there's the Americanness coming out. Then we walk into the boot room so you can welcome your guests in, hang all the jackets up there. Directly down takes us into the main living space and then just through here is one of the powder rooms. So perhaps I'll put a floor plan on screen here so you can try and get your bearings. We have over 4,200 square feet to see, seven bedrooms, six bathrooms. Come on down, we'll keep this tour rolling. We have the staircase here. I'm gonna choose the stairs on this one. A beautiful feature design here and then we come on into the main living area. And actually the lift doesn't come to this spot here. So it is just the stairs for that one. Now we have the dual zone climate, so you can have the heating on, but also the air conditioning on summer's days like we are today. And let me know what you guys think to the interior design and the team that have done the property here. So in this space, we have the big flat screen TV here within the feature wall, the fireplace below and some lovely gray stone here with a nice amount of veinage throughout. And they've gone for the engineered hardwood flooring. One of the special parts about this property is actually the garden. So via the French doors here, there's the set of curtains and you go straight out into a garden that's around 40 feet, which for London and for Central like this is a pretty good amount of outdoor space. Okay, let's continue and head back up the stairs. So Tom's gonna go to the corner, Tom filming today. <laughs> Hey guys, let's head up and show you. I think next we'll show the powder room. So you can see, I wanna show you all the finishes. We've got seven bedrooms, six bathrooms. Each one has a slightly different style. So we come into the powder room here again. They've gone for the black marble up top. Yeah, very nice finish, what you'd expect. Back up the stairs. It's like we're dancing in this yeah, tour, like moving it is. forward and back. Yeah. Choreography. So now we're gonna head into the lift. And let's go to the low ground floor, show you guys the kitchen. I think we can both fit in here. It's wide angle lens, right? Yeah, it's still quite close. Let's head down to minus one. This lift is nice to be fair. Look, yeah, suede soft. finish. Plush walls. Look, even marble on the floor. Oh, nice. nice. Lovely. Four person lift this. It wouldn't yeah. be cozy at all. You're gonna love this angle. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, moving down onto the lower ground floor, we've got another cloakroom, boot room space there, and we've taken the lift to then take the stairs. So, similar stair design to upstairs with the hardwood, they've got LED lighting below there. Yeah, you might need the floor plan in this tour. Yeah, maybe the floor plan, maybe open a new tab. <laughs> yeah, and save the, the floor, floor plan. plan whilst you're watching. <laughs> Screenshot. Welcome to the kitchen. Center island here, couple of bar stools. They've gone for Miele appliances, so top of the range, exactly what you'd expect in a 12 million pound home. And we've got the sink here, dishwashers that side, variety of storage space, which I don't need to show all of that. Now, this is where the fridge and freezer are. So we've got the full height, Miele fridge there, then the freezer, that's actually a Boss freezer right next to that. 
espresso maker, oven, lots of storage that way. And it's interesting all the quirky spaces that you have to work with and choosing a design that you know tries to maximize that. We've got again another feature wall here with the TV. A, there's actually a reasonable amount of light coming from there. Interestingly, they've gone for the frosted glass um, panel there. And that's overall this space. So then finally on this floor, as well as the kitchen, we have access to a utility room. Now this utility through here is again, a reasonable size. And then at the end of that, you go into the plant room and the brains of the house that has all the tech. Um, home has been brought up to the 21st century standards with things like the intercom system. So whenever someone's ringing the door, you imagine you've got seven floors, you wouldn't want to be at the top running down to let in a delivery person. So you can use um, the details here. Anyway, let's head back up into the lift and show you my favorite floor in homes like this, the first floor. Let's go. Now, as this home has lots of different areas, I actually forgot to take you this way. Talks about the laundry room. They actually have a washroom through there. So the washing area is separate. And the way that that works well is because then through here is a bedroom, which is very nice, as you can see. So it could be an absolutely adequate guest bedroom, should you need it, should you need that many bedrooms but perhaps works more so as a staff room because you have the additional entrance, the private entrance directly through here. So we're on the lower ground floor level now. So the guest bedroom would have lots of storage, still got the dual zone climate through here. Some more storage here, and this is, this is the door. So excuse us if we're moving the camera around quite a lot, but we wanna show you as naturally as possible all the areas in this home. I know you guys like when we do so. And then on suite, on suite down there, intercom system as well. So yeah, the reason that works well is obviously the staff bedroom here, then you've got the laundry and fairly directly into the kitchen through there. These steps, if you go up here and then that's the powder room that we showed you earlier, and then take a right angle and then you're back in the reception. Let's if head if you're it. struggling to follow guys, I'm in the house and I'm struggling to follow. So I'm doing the tour and I'm struggling to know where I am. Yeah. <laughs> but saying that, when you're here, with the, with the lift, it works absolutely fine. Let's go to the first floor and we're back. Yes, this is my favorite angle. Cue elevator music. We've arrived on the first floor and we're in Oh, the Narnia. door. <laughs> uh, Monsters Inc. <laughs> yeah, so a door here opens up. Oh, and I step onto beautiful plush carpet. Now let me take you into this room initially. Now, as I said, the first floor is my favorite of these homes. And the reason for that is the most incredible windows out onto the balcony. You have some of the best view. So throughout this tour, you'd have to let me know which one of these bedrooms is your favorite. Interior design is stunning. Look at this bed. I think the design team are so spot on on that. And what a view out onto the park. So then finally, over here we have the feature wall. I've gone for a fabric style inset there, actually quite unique. Fireplace below, storage either side, again the cornicing, and quite interestingly with the spotlights. They've gone for symmetry, but they've created symmetry with three with an odd number of lights in each place. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, so you've got three there, three there, and it all wraps around and looks quite nice actually. Okay, now let's head out this way and we're gonna keep exploring. So that's the lift. I like the way you can have this wooden door and actually close it and make it look less industrial. But this dressing room and ensuite, absolutely beautiful, come on in. So dressing room space here, um, either side, nice dark tinted mirrors there. Carpeted too, which is nice. Oh, plush carpet too, really nice. You get changed, like you want the, the coziness, don't you? Very true. Then we have a pocket sliding door here, which works very nicely into the marble bathroom. A couple of different types of marble. Obviously we've got the white marble with quite a lot of gray veinage on the floor and around the walls. Walk-in shower here, then the feature bath on this side with a, yeah, slightly darker brown marble. Now I imagine they have the, obviously the shutters here, really nice outlook onto the garden and you can open these up just like so very simply, let in a lot more natural light if you want to. Yeah, it's a good size bathroom. And yeah. then dual sinks over this side with the all-time favorite. Um, and full mirror storage. There's loads of mirror storage. Yeah, that's good. As we continue to explore, we'll head back into the hallway where we were. So I come through this way. And this is the main set of stairs. A quirky and unique feature about this home is they have lots of landing spaces as well. But 
I mean, loads of character for them. You've got the sliders, the shutters again, the doors if you want to open up and let the breeze through. Okay, let's actually use the stairs now onto another landing. Yeah, it's just all about making the most of what you can with the spaces. Nice spot to sit. Look over onto the garden. Some more stairs and the intercom system. We do have the lift here, so if you don't have to use those stairs. If you want to take the lift, you very simply can do. We'll show you into the next bedroom. So this is a third room. We've seen two in total so far. I just want to pause the tour here though to say, if you are watching this and you have a luxury home or unique property you'd be interested in featuring on the channel, then let us know. It doesn't have to be for sale. Not many of you know that we also tour lots of homes that aren't for sale. If you have an interesting story as well behind a build of a home, we'd love to hear from you. So head to the description, our email's there. Reach out to us. Continuing the tour. So this bedroom is at the front again, looks across to the square window here. Then we have the ensuite on this side. Now they've gone for a different design in here. Each one is actually slightly different. So come on over, pocket sliding door. Got the nice design sink in the center here, walk into the shower and we've gone for three main materials, the stone, the wood, and then the marble over there. Now, okay, dressing room through there, straight across to the other side, a very similar style bedroom with a completely built out wooden feature storage area somewhere for some artwork, some books, clothes here with hangers. I like this, um, I like this standing mirror. I yeah, wonder where full this is height. From. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, I like that design. Okay, now, more stairs. So we're gonna go to the next floor. Where on the way past, we'll, we'll go through this landing where you can have a seat on a slightly different spot. Look out, bit of an elevated view, lots of greenery. It's funny because although the home has a lift, I'm obviously, I'm doing a tour at the moment, but I do gravitate to still using the stairs. It's really not, I don't mind it too much. And then let's go into the next room. Again, a couple of different materials here, the wood finish, the stone. Similar wood built out area with views onto the garden. Slightly smaller bed in here, still works. The lift there, another bedroom at the front. Again, slightly different style. It's good to get inspiration for bedding, artwork, features. Look out onto the square. And finally, another ensuite on that side. Pocket door to get into there. And then the dressing room through this pocket door. Let us know in the comments what your favorite room so far, if you think this home is worth 12 million pounds. And if you like the style of this, I think you'll like this suggested video. So go check that one out if you don't wanna see any more of this property, but keep watching. There's a few more cool things to show you. Um, later on, actually, we're gonna to go to Harrods. It's super close by, so we might as well check that out. Now, if you buy a house at 12 million pounds, wherever it is in the world, the likelihood is you're gonna to need to get some work done to be able to afford it. So this would be your study, um, which they've chosen at the moment. Study for one, it's cozy. It's some way you could, you know, yeah, if you don't have too much stuff, it would work. Or you could turn another room into a study. Yeah, I think I'd have to turn a bedroom into a study person. Yeah, I would too. Don't need seven rooms. And with one of those rooms, you, you could do so much. You could have a gym in one of them, yeah. perhaps, study. Cinema room. Yeah, because that's what you need, really. Oh, of course. Okay. When we say need, it's an essential. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're on the top floor. Um, and this is a surprisingly big room for the top floor of these homes. Back in the day when they were built, this would have been the servants' quarters at the very top of the home. How times have changed. Now we have the um, feature wall here again. We've got the curved, is that curved Samsung TV? Yeah, yeah. slightly curved, decent choice. And then this way is the ensuite. So the lift here, so you can go all the way from the low ground floor all the way to the top in the lift, as you can see. Then this um, ensuite, they've actually gone for the full black um, kind of moody theme that really works nice. Yeah. Now, again, we might need to consult the floor plan again. Have we seen everywhere? Yeah, I think so. I think we've seen the full house. So yeah. now we should go check out the area. Let's take you guys, let's go. I'm just about to step onto Hans Road and then you'll see how close we are to Harrods. So literally less than 100 meters from your house around there, here you are right outside the front of Harrods. 
We've got an amazing restaurant there, Harry's, we've eaten there before, really nice. The Prada Cafe, of course, and all the shopping you could want. That about concludes our exploring today. We just had another look around this muse and all of the local streets, but we hope you enjoyed watching this tour and exploring this home with us, 12 million pounds. All the information will be found in the description below and make sure to head over to our Instagram. We filmed a lot of behind the scenes today, some other content that doesn't make it to YouTube. So go follow us over there. And of course, subscribe to the Luxury Home Show to see the best house tours in the UK. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.